I guess that's good. I guess. Two deal thing, Ten dollars a week on it. Okay. And recording, I'll clap you in. Yeah, that was really loud. <laughs> so we were saying, um, <laughs> sorry, that was really loud. So we were saying like social media and staying away from it. I try my best to stay away from it. And I think you're yeah. right. You, you've been saying how like, it's not a bad thing. We've just kind of made it that way. Yeah. Um, Dude, that's, should we, that's true. Should we, ex should we explain to people how we know each other? Have we told people? No, we just tr we jumped headfirst into this. Mitch and I dated back in grade ten. No, we're giving. Um, so me and Josh saved each other from sharks. Yeah. At the same time. Yeah, we were we were in simultaneous shark attacks, and while yes. it was attacking me, I heard someone screaming, and I looked over, and I was like, I need to help that guy. Yeah. We and looked then, at each other, and we like we're both getting attacked by sharks. Let's tag team. Yeah. Let's tag team these motherfuckers. Yeah. It was like one of those wrestling matches where you can like tap out and tap in, except you couldn't yeah. tap out in this bitch. It was like an all or nothing situation. Yeah. But the sharks were down. The sharks were like, oh, you want to go? And we we're like, yeah. No, they we were. Yeah. It was like that. What's that movie that had Blake Lively in where the shark, like, she gets stuck on a tiny little piece oh. of rock with like a seagull that's her friend? Dude, that was like... I, mean, I can't remember exactly, but... That was I'm probably sure the that. most outrageous description I've ever seen of a Great White. Ever. I, I haven't seen it. Oh, I you haven't, haven't seen it? No. Oh, dude, I don't you have to watch it. it but really? You have to watch Oh, dude, it's like... So the shark... Do I have to watch it because of Blake Lively or because of the character development? Character development for who? <laughs> like... Okay. No, no, the, like... Her, her, her acting in it is amazing. Seriously. Her acting's really good. Yeah, it's it's great. it's it's the way that they depicted a great white and like its characteristics. Mm -hmm. I was like, this is a little bit much. So a whale dies and the shark's chowing on a whale and she goes to this remote beach where her mom used to surf. I think her mom's passed away in the movie, but it's where her mom used to surf. And she goes for like you know the memory of it and gonna go have a surf in this bay. And the shark ends up attacking her and in a panic she kind of like swims out onto this little rock that she has to like live on for a little while where the shark keeps attacking her. I'm completely butchering this, but whatever. Um, and the shark like stalks her basically, like ensures yeah. that she stays on this rock. And I'm like, okay, the shark's just chowed half a whale. I <laughs> and don't... now it really cares about Blake Lively yeah. sitting on this rock. I, and there's not mu much meat on that girl. There's like 0% body fat on Blake Lively. I'm like, what could the shark yeah. possibly want from her? You know, like, yeah. just wants to be friends. Like, like she's a graham cracker to the shark. Basically, and I'm like, dude, you've got a whole whale. And then mm. she's on the rock and she ends up becoming like good mates with a seagull. And the seagull's like her only hope kind of thing. And then she tries to like get away, it doesn't work, <laughs> tries to get away, it doesn't work. And then she swims out to this like giant boy. You know those big red boys out at sea? Yeah, yeah. She swims to that thing and has a whole, you know, stunt scene with a shark and she finds a flare gun and tries to shoot the shark with a flare gun. Long story short, she ends up swimming down and there's this piece of wood sticking out the ground and she swims down at the wood and moves out the way and the shark chows the wood and dies. And then she comes back onto land. That's basic, I don't know, I don't know if I did a good job of explaining. I can't remember, I can't remember what the name of the movie is. Uh, but then, you, then, then there's that movie as well where they go diving and while they're underwater, the boat leaves and the couple get left. Dude, that scares the living shit out of me because I could actually see that happening to someone. What? That you go diving and they miscount and 10 people get back on the boat, but there's actually 12 and the boat leaves and you get left out at sea. Oh, that's terrifying. I am terrified of ever being left out at sea. I mean, it's instant death. Dude, like, think about it. Imagine being... Oh, this makes me feel ill. Imagine being out at sea where everything's just water. You don't know what's below you. But and for like... No one knows you're missing. Hundreds of meters in every direction. You don't know what's there. So, you swimming... But you're, you're a surfer, right? Yeah. Okay, so you kind of understand that feeling a little bit i mean i guess 
Well, look, I mean, like, I, I, we, we, we went like boogie boarding when I was with you in Cape Town. Right? Mm. And I, I, I remember that feeling exactly. Like, the water wasn't clear. There was a lot of foam and, you know, like, yeah. down, like a lot of just like white water. And it was freezing cold and I was in a wetsuit. But I remember, cold. like, I remember sitting on the boogie board with you. Not with you, but like we had separate boogie boards. But like, I was sitting <laughs> both of us on one boogie board. <laughs> two six, two six foot plus guys sitting. Yeah, on just board chilling board. on a boogie board together. Yeah. yeah, it's like y'all, we bang, you know. Yeah, um, we end this. But I, I remember looking down, like the the water cleared up a bit, and I remember looking down, and like my feet were hanging in the water or something. And I was looking at my feet, and I was like, "That's just that's like hanging a worm in front of a fish for sharks." You know? Well, yeah, that like, I mean, I've, I've grown like, up in, in the ocean. I'm not very good at surfing, but I love it. I've learned how to boogie yeah. board, body surf, sup, took lessons in kite surfing. So like, I love the ocean. I'm completely obsessed with the ocean. Um, yeah, me too, me too. However, yeah. it, it is scary. And it's like, like, look at big wave surfers. Very different, but big wave surfers, surfers, um, uh, what's that like? Um, deep sea diving, um, any of these professions that have to do with the ocean. You ask any of them, all of them are like, dude, of course I'm scared and nervous before doing it. Like, who knows what's going to happen in the ocean? It's the most out of your depth environment you could put yourself in because we can't breathe underwater, we can't survive in water for very long, you know. And dude, if the ocean wanted to take you out, it would take you out. Like every every time. Oh, yeah. Every time you I ever see, you surfed, ever seen a tsunami? Exactly. Every time I surfed, I always had this feeling, and it sounds crazy, but I always had this feeling of being in the water that like the water knew I was there. Like the ocean knows you in it. And it's like, okay, hey, if you respect me, I respect you. So how's this relationship gonna go today? Are you coming into the water angry? Because if you're coming in angry, that's what the ocean's gonna throw back at you. If you come in peace. You know, like peaceful, calm, you're coming in, respect for the ocean, you're going to do your thing, you're going to go with the flow. That's when the ocean respects you back. And to this day, I've never dropped that view. So whenever I go in the ocean, I say a quick prayer so that I'm protected in the water. Run in, and as soon as I get in the ocean, I'm like, okay, namaste the fuck out. As in like, yeah. don't think of sharks, don't think of like, just stay calm, stay peaceful, enjoy being out here. And then it's a very different experience. Um, it's like driving a car. Like if you, if you drive angry, it reflects. Like it if you drive like an asshole, people know you're driving like an asshole. Yeah. And and, and, and you drive fast, you drive reckless. You're probably gonna crash and die. And it's probably. just like same with the ocean. If you gotta respect the road. Yeah. yeah fair. Yeah. Fair. Yeah. Would you rather get attacked by a shark? Or be involved in an airplane crash. Oh. You survive both. My, my, oh, you survive both. That was a good one. Do you, my, my immediate response was get attacked by a shark. Because I guess from my experience, my uncle... Okay, but listen, my, my uncle got attacked by a shark when he was surfing. Really? And it, but he... Yeah, it, yeah. So he, he was surfing out in East London, I think. And um, he was kind of surfing by himself uh, or, or like with like one or two other people. Uh, and the great, yeah, great white came up with the, the back of his right leg or his left leg, I'm sorry. And took a whole, like pretty much took his hamstring off, uh, took his calf off, um, severed his carotid artery um like destroyed his his leg um luckily there were three doctors on the beach that day Yo, three dude. Doctors. blessings on blessings Crazy. on blessings yeah right blessings yeah. on blessings baby so he came out and and they stabilized him until the uh until the emts could get there um but he he didn't lose the leg that my my uh my grandpa refused um refused for the doctors to amputate his leg like yeah. it was just like no like you have to save the leg yeah and they're like we're gonna try our best but like it's it's gonna be almost impossible they ended up saving the leg which is crazy in it 
crazy, bro, because, you know, he, he wore a brace for um, most of his life, or still wears a brace, um, but he doesn't have much feeling in his leg at all, like, at all. Um, so he survived that. So I feel like I could, like, because, because if you get attacked by a shark, they're not really, uh, they, they don't like human flesh. I'm no, they honest. don't. They, yeah, so once they bite you, taste you, they, they, they leave. But if you're in a plane crash, bro, like there's so many, like you could catch on fire, you could break your back, you could break your face, you could break your everything. Yeah. And I feel like there's a higher chance of you dying in a plane crash. Okay, no, no, but, but if, so if we put, and I know this sounds a bit ridiculous, but if we put it on the table that you okay. get attacked by a shark or you're in an airplane crash, you survive either one. Okay. First thing that comes to mind. Dude, that's a, that's a fantastic That's question. hard, dude. Okay, so, so, so the way I'm looking at it, right? Question. I'm thinking okay. of the actual experience. So yeah. say now, I don't even get an injury from either of them, which I know is impossible. But say now I don't even get an injury. The trauma from being attacked by a shark, it must yeah. be the most yeah. terrifying five, ten minutes of your entire life. Like, I just imagine sitting out in the ocean and this thing that's like the size of what, one and a half cars, two cars, just pulls yeah. up. This huge mouth comes out the water with all those teeth and just yeah. chunks at you. It's a lot more traumatic. Dude, you are so out of your depth when that happens. And yeah. dude, there's people yeah, that get yeah. attacked by sharks and they're like, oh, it had me and I just knew, punch it in the nose. And I'm like, in theory, that's what you're supposed to do. In reality, no one expects you to do it. You know, like, no. we just say my, that. My, it, my uncle gouged the, the, the shark's eye, eye out. Yeah, yeah. apparently that's... Yeah. But dude, now think, dude, this freaks me out. Imagine being in the water and this and giant a... head oh, is okay. right here. Like, just imagine like the feeling of shark and skin. Like, oh. And it's got those like piercing black eyes, this giant mouth. And you're like, hang on, I'm going to grab hold of this giant head and just stick my finger in its eye. Like, dude, I love sharks. I'm obsessed with sharks. I also, I also, yeah, dude, they're such amazing creatures. Um, yeah. I think we are a lot more harmful than what they are. Um, and there's a lot of shark yes. killing going on in the world. And there's a friend of mine that's involved in an organization that does that, um, that protects sharks and everything up uh, Indonesia's side. She's incredible. The organization's incredible. So I'm not saying shark attacks are oh, my word. I'm saying like, the experience of that must scare the living shit out of you. But then I look at an airplane crash. Now imagine sitting in an airplane. You're sitting in an airplane seat. You got your bag of peanuts. You got your bag of peanuts. You got your apple tizer that is like the size of what? A shot glass. Because I ain't gonna yep, give you more than it. that. You get one sip, sip of your drink. One sip and it's done. You get like three peanuts yep. and it's done. And yeah. there's definitely like that person on, on the plane that snores, you know, yeah. there's, there's that air hostess that just doesn't like you no matter what you do. It's a much more relaxing experience. It is? Yeah. You're trying not to smell other people's farts. It's there's just, always that one guy that doesn't smell fresh. No. And then and it's always the guy sitting next to you. He's always the guy either in front or behind or next to you. Yeah. Dude, we got on the plane, side note, on the way from, uh, <laughs> where was it, from Toronto to Vancouver. There was a guy in his family that sat in front of me, and I oath to you, he, he took their food trays, and he yeah. just put it behind him on the floor, which is on my feet. And he just keep putting these food trays down on the floor next to me and on my feet. And the air hostess yeah. would come through and be like, what is going on? And I'm like, this guy in front of me, he keeps putting shit on my feet. <laughs> and she'd clean it. So I'd get up to help her clean it, because I'm not going to make her yeah. clean someone else's garbage off the floor. That's just extremely disrespectful so i'm helping her jess and i were both like what is wrong with this guy but anyway so now you're sitting in the plane i've got this guy in front of me with his family is putting the trash on my feet you hit some turbulence we have to talk about that we have to talk about that but carry on oh yeah for sure you hit some turbulence and those little those yellow cup things fall down that you have to put mm -hmm. over your head first before before putting over the head of a child or baby mm -hmm. watch the videos and yeah. This Always plane, read the manuals, people. There we go. This plane just starts going. Yeah, it's it's definitely a more comfortable like situation. Yeah, but like imagine the speed 
that you are traveling at, like the G forces. Oh yeah. Dude, do, do you know you know when you're on a plane and you and you, like there's turbulence and you like you go up and down and you feel like the the drop and yeah. the dips and the raises, like you feel the yourself going up and down. Do you know you drop and fall almost a kilometer? No ways. I swear to you, bro. I swear. I think I just cut myself with a guitar pick. Yeah, I did. Well done. Uh, yeah, those drops are no like no ways. Promise. I oath. You're traveling so fast, and the and the 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 drop and the thing is so bad that it. But but it's like on a, such a big scale that you don't realize it. So when you have turbulence on a plane. Yeah. That plane is dropping a kilometer on average. It's like going like this, bro. So like it's doing this. A I'm, not a kilometer. I'm, not, I'm not saying it's a, it's a kilometer, but it's like, it's between 500 meters and a kilometer that you're dropping and falling every time you feel that like turbulence. Insane. Dude, I'm so shit scared of flying now. <laughs> that's crazy, eh? That, because that's far, oh, man. But you don't feel it. You're just like, oh, phew. You know, <laughs> you're like, like bouncing around. Yeah, like, yeah. You know, like, it's kind of fun, you know? Dude, and I, yeah, okay, so, so when, when you hit turbulence, yeah. are you the guy that, like, grabs the seat tight, goes, like, super pale and starts panicking? You see, like, a bead of sweat? Or are you the guy that's like, ah, everything will be okay if it's my day, it's my day? Dude, I wait for the turbulence to go take a shit. <laughs> just to make just to make my life more interesting just you to know? keep things on edge yeah you I, I sit there holding my seat and like sweating holding in my shit <laughs> waiting for turbulence and then once the turbulence hits i'm like ah oh, <laughs> what's it and into like this is my time to shine exactly yeah. dude, I'm, I'm, sh I'm 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 so terrified of taking a shit on the plane dude and and Why? dude just because like Smells waft, bro. <laughs> I'm so oh, scared. Oh, dude, I, okay. I care, dude. I'm, I'm, I'm oh. that person, dude. I, I can't, I can't do it. I, I, I can't. I hope I take the stinkiest chance. <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a sadist, bro. Like I want to make the, I want, I want to make the experience for everyone. You want to make it horrible for everyone. everyone. Yo. Oh, that's funny. Because dude. I'm suffering just as much as they all are. I have to smell. Fucking uh, Daniel's nasty ass shit. I'm gonna make you suffer now, Daniel. You know? Yeah, there's always a Daniel. That's true. Always a Daniel. That's true. Daniel was sitting in front of you, putting God, trays. That on was feet. bad. That was a Daniel. Dude, that was bad. That was very, very disrespectful, Daniel. Okay, I, I, so I don't understand. He was just, he had multiple things of food and he just put them behind his seat. Well, it, it's, it's a row of three people and they had a baby. So it's four people. So he had anything that had to do with feeding the baby, which I completely get. But anything that he had to do with feeding the baby, any remains of that, so like... I don't know why, but they'd unwrapped something. I think they'd bought something for the baby in the airport, specifically for this flight. Um, and that went on my feet. His tray, his wife's tray, and his son's tray, all at my feet. Um, the water bottles that the, that the ladies give you, all at my feet. The peanut packets, all at... Dude, it was so bad that when we hit that kilometer-long turbulence, yeah. his trash would roll, like, down the aisle. That's how bad it was, dude. It that's was so hectic. Crazy. And that's just dude, full out sadist. Dude, that's like, so he disrespectful. Wants that plane to go down. Dude, I hope he listens yeah. to this one day. And yeah. and the lady came up to me like in disbelief about this whole thing. And it took every ounce of my being to not like here's my thing. I don't like the awkwardness in public. So I'm the kind of person that like, if he did something disrespectful to Jess, or to you, or to like a family member, I'd be the first person to be like, hey, I got some shit to say. You know, like, I'd be, I'd, I'll be all up in your face. But if it's about me, then I struggle doing it. You know, because it's like, yeah. hey man, how, you know, oh, you're in my, and I, I always feel awkward doing that, that it's like, 
girl, this is me versus you, er, you were wrong. You know, like I, I get really awkward having to do that. And in the situation, um, every part of me wanted to do it. I was like, I don't care how awkward this flight gets. The person I felt bad for was the air hostess, dude. Yeah. And like so she... That, so, no, the, you, your mindset didn't change. You were just trying to defend the air hostess, not fair. the guy or not yourself. Fair. Mm. Fair. That was deep, right? That was deep. That was actually a very, very good point. I was defending the lady. Uh, should have said something. I, I, I'm the same way, though. I, when it comes to, like, defending myself... Like I, I'm not a I'm not an aggressive person. I'm not like yeah. I don't think I am either. I'm yeah. not a fighter. You know, like yeah, I, I will dude. always, always, always try and defuse the situation as much as I can before yeah. I get physical. That's a good quality. Like, always. That's a good I, quality. I, I do jujitsu, so like I'm fully confident in myself. Uh, yeah. I'm fully confident in defending myself and anyone. Like I'm not I'm not scared of anyone. Like even yeah. if he's bigger than me, even if he's stronger than me, I don't. I'm not scared of that person, but I just don't want to fight because it ruins the night. Or usually, it's like when you go out at night, it just like ruins everyone's like vibe and and. It and does, dude. In general. It does. It really does. That being said, that being said, there are some people that just like to punch other people in the face for no valid reason. Like what yeah, because it gives them some form of like, you know, I don't know. It gives them some form of meaning. Status. Yeah, I guess. Um, with saying you're not scared of anyone, I agree, yeah. but there's some people that I'd be scared of. Oh, sure. Like Straight if, up. If it's like a, like a 300 pound, like lineman for the NFL or like a rugby player. Yeah. And he was like, hey scared. man, I'd be like, listen, <laughs> what do you drink? Yeah. You know, cause we've got a whole like, bar. Yeah. Like yeah. pick, pick what hey, you man, feel like this, having. This is my... This is my girlfriend. Uh, she can be my ex-girlfriend if you do. Okay, on you saying that, <laughs> that's where I get iffy, dude. That's where I'm like, you, dude, you could be the biggest, strongest machine in the world. Don't go there. Like, don't go yeah. family. You know, and like, I consider my girlfriend and like, my, you know, my one or two close friends family. Like, just don't go there. Like. Rather just go at me, you know, go at me, yeah. tell me whatever you want to tell me. And I'm like, okay, cool. You're the bigger guy. You win. You're better. Cool. You know, like, yeah. and dude, I'll give the person that dude. I've complimented people that have wanted to fight, like mm -hmm. full on complimented them. And I didn't know what to do with it. Like today, oh, I'm so glad I'm bringing this up today. Uh, I think it was last night when I posted it, but I posted a story that was a video I took of a headline on CNN. Um, and they were stating that, have we overcome this whole thing? Have we not? You know, like asking questions. Um, people are living in fear. Um, people are really scared. People don't know what to believe. They don't know what to follow. They don't know what to do. So everyone's just staying at home and trying to do their part. And that's cool. I, I back that. But I posted it with quotes and I put it into those little quote things that these are the things that CNN have said, that things aren't as bad as we think they are, that they're getting better um, because of the hard work of, you know, the people on the front line and doctors and nurses and everyone making a difference um, and that we shouldn't live in fear. So I posted it saying, guys, keep your individual freedom. Don't go and socialize with other people and be an absolute piece of shit. Go for a walk, you know, go for a jog, Walk your dog, spend time outside, don't get stuck in a rut of being indoors and lose that freedom that is your right. Right now you can't socialize, you can't be in groups, at least not yet, but it doesn't mean that you as an individual have to be stuck in this emotional bad state. And dude, these people that are struggling with like really bad home situations and really bad emotional states, so my heart goes out to those people, right? So I post this. This guy messages me, I'm going to read it to you, because I laughed so hard. And this is what I'm saying, in that, like when someone goes at me, I'm like, dude, that was pretty good. You know, like hey, if, if you're going to diss me or something, I'm like, that, that, was, that, was, that was well done. This guy messages me and goes, stop telling people to go outside. Which if I was, 
I would agree, but I wasn't. Next message, stopped acting like a dumbass, stupid shit. And I was like, that's creative, dude. That is. Hey, like, it's just combining like a couple stupid Dumbass, stories, stupid like, shit. I, I was like, dude, I'm using that from now on. Yeah. <laughs> and I like, I like that, dude. I messaged him, like, there's the proof. I messaged him and I went, not gonna lie, well played on the wording there. It was like a laughing yeah. face. And I just went, much love, dude. And he's read it and hasn't replied because what do you say reply. like what do you say to someone when they like you diss them yeah. and they go dude, and that, they reply that was actually pretty funny well done you know like <laughs> I was actually yeah. laughing at that pretty hard there was there was there was another dude, lady that's, awesome. that, was, that's the best way to get back at anyone dude it's just best. Them with love man dude just love but that's all we have to do right. There was the more there, love you put out into the world, the more that comes back to you. It's like that ocean analogy. Yeah. So, there's another lady messaged to, to the same story. And by the way, a lot of people message me being like, we agree, let's do our part, but stay strong, not live in fear, etc, etc. So shout out to those people because you guys are badasses. But this lady messages me and I go into her account. She's a mother of two um, who's into gym and she's a foodie. Mm -hmm. For anyone that cares, her name's Kelly. She messages. She goes, "This is disgusting." Now, what? Now, 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 When I read this, I'm picturing like my or your mom saying yeah. it in like that, like this motherly. Is this is disgusting, Joshua. What is wrong with you? Yeah. I did not raise you this way. So yeah. I'm, I'm reading it like that. I'm reading it like I a mother. I've taught you. Yeah, I taught you better. better. Yeah. Yeah. So she goes, "This is yeah, disgusting." Moms are so and I'm ashamed to ever follow you. Isolation is not just about you getting sick, it's to prevent others getting sick. And I'm like, yeah, Yo, you're right. Yes. Yeah. Spot you're on, not Kelly. People to go socialize, you said yeah. that, right? Kelly, you've, you've hit her on the head. Like, yeah. preach, sister. Good job, yeah. Yeah, I'm she good. goes, those that get sick and eventually die have a horrible death and literally drown. I'm like, not true. Come oh, again. Okay. Yeah. And I'm putting like, their faces in a bucket of water. Yeah, I'm yeah. like, I'm, I'm like, look, people dying is a horrible thing. Yeah. So I'm not going to take the piss out of that. That sentence, I'm not going to take the piss out of it. Because she's right, it is horrible and people do die terribly. Okay. But then, she goes, just think about that, you irresponsible fool. And I'm like, <laughs> like, this is literally a mother of two. <laughs> yeah in her 40s that really wanted to call me like a really bad word she so badly yeah. wanted to just be like fuck you but she, she doesn't did that she was like like she was like <laughs> <laughs> she probably yeah. typed it and she was like oh, it you read yeah. Uh, uh, yeah and i'm like you know what like and she typed it and she was like no i can't say this yeah she's like no 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 i'm no, not no, gonna put no. myself on his level yeah, I'm not going to stoop yeah. down to his low, insecure level. What an irresponsible fool. And I'm like, look, am I irresponsible most of the time? 100%. Do I behave like a fool? Yes. So I'm not getting offended by this. Do I agree that the deaths are horrible? Yes. Should Obviously. we not socialize? Yes. Obviously. Obviously. Should we continue living in fear, not leave our front door, not go for walks and get out there and try to stay emotionally and mentally positive, which Be is smart. what I'm trying to tell you? Yeah. Okay, Kelly, if you don't want us to, then cool, we won't, you know, but like, hey, that's Kelly. up to you. Yeah. Like, yeah. hey, Kelly, hey, stay inside if you want, bro. Exactly. Be outside in a field, running yeah. with, the, with animals. And it's, yeah. and dude, it, it, it's I'm gonna also go snow white this shit. I'm going to be in the, in the woods with my arms out and birds are going to be landing dude, on me. Dude, I want birds landing on me when I'm dancing with them seven dwarfs, dude. Yeah. Bring it yeah. to Okay, but at a distance. Don't be smiley, happy. But at a distance. I tell smiley, dopey, happy, sleepy, you keep your yeah. six, two to six meter distance. I think exactly. that's cool. But, so, for, for me, like, seeing what CNN are saying about America and the state America's in and the state that South Africa's in is very different. So people have taken their hat America's off to South Africa. Fricked. Yeah, dude, America's in a lot of America's trouble. But so people have, so people have taken their hat off to South Africa for how we've handled it. Yeah. But dude, we went from level five to level four. The only thing that changed is you allowed to exercise from six to nine in the morning, which means 
everyone is outdoors at the same time.